Welcome back, everybody, to the Seattle Sonics, my NBA franchise here on NBA 2K22. Today is Game 7 of the Western Conference Finals. If we win, we're in the NBA Finals, and if we lose, our season is over. Before we start, real quick, I just have a minor announcement regarding NBA 2K23, which comes out in like a week and a half. I know it's really close. I am kicking off the process of figuring out which team I'm going to use. I have a Google form. There's a link in the description where you will be able to help me pick my team. And then eventually I will have the more official poll out on the community tab within the next couple of days. This Google form just tries to help me figure out which teams I will end up putting on the poll. So in the last episode, we had games five and six. In game five, we were losing for most of the game, but we pulled off a really nice comeback late in the fourth quarter to help us get the win. In game six, the first three quarters were very similar to that of game five. The only difference is that we were unable to pull off the comeback and the Lakers ended up winning it, which has pushed us to a seventh do or die game to determine who will go up against the St. Louis Spirits in the NBA Finals. We have won three of our last four games. I think the team is in a pretty good spot despite losing in game six. And obviously we want an opportunity to get a rematch with the Spirits who of course we faced off against in last year's finals. The Sonics have been in the Western Conference Finals three years in a row. Last year they won it, the year before they lost in a game seven. So we'll see if this year they have a little bit more luck in the seventh game and can advance to the NBA Finals. The Lakers switching up the lineup a little bit. Mitchell Robinson getting started center. They had him there in game six as well with Freeman Alexander now coming off the bench as the Sonics win the tip and we are underway. Opening possession of the game. Buzz gets open off the screen. Hits the deep three. Good start for the Sonics. Buzz Wigginson puts them on the board and it's 3-0. Here comes Kevin Durant looking for the Lakers first points of the game and he's going to get them as he hits the short shot to fall. Both teams score on their opening possessions. Here comes the Sonics. Story at the rim. No good. Rebounded by Dumas, who's going to float it in for the putback. Good play by Chance Dumas. So far, so good here in the opening minute as Irving is blocked. However, the Lakers get it back, and Collins hits the triple. Nice shot for John Collins, and this game is tied at five. Both offenses moving the ball quickly so far as Giddy gets it over to Dumas with the reverse lay-in. A sick move by Chance Dumas as we are now tied at seven. Jay Basilian gets the screen from Buzz. Buzz open corner. Three. Let it fly, young man. Buzz Wigginton hits another three. He's off to a hot start today. And it's now 10-7. Buzz is looking really good early, but why stop now? He throws down the slam off the screen and assist from Oscar Jay Basilian as Robinson misses at the rim, grabs his own rebound. Buzz playing really good defense down low as Dumas steals it away. Here comes the Sonics on the fast break. Kyrel Story open. Three ball is good. The Sonics have not yet missed from beyond the arc. They lead 15 to 7. The offense playing some really good basketball today as Collins is no good at the rim. Grabs his own put back for the and one. Big basket for the Lakers who seem to be falling apart a little bit. They need more buckets like that to help them get back on track. Oscar over to Buzz, fools Robinson on the pump fake and throws it down for an and one. What a play by Buzz Wigginton to get the pump fake and the poster slam. And the Sonics get an and one of their own. Oscar J. Basile looking to join the fun. He has not scored yet today as he misses, grabs his own rebound, gets the put back. Seattle's offense is doing everything well right now. They're shooting the ball at a high level. They're driving the basket at a high level. They're drawing contact on a high level as the Lakers lob it up for Collins who gets the slam. The Lakers offense doesn't look too bad. The problem is Seattle's offense looks unstoppable. Oscar, three ball and one. Number one rule of defense, don't foul the jump shooter. Number two rule of defense, don't let the shot go in. Oscar gets a four point play and it's 24 to 12. The Sonics are looking phenomenal early in this game. The Lakers are getting quite a few lobs. However, that's Zytavius Storm with the slam. 24-14. Giddy gets it inside over to Buzz Wigginton, backing down on John Collins. The Lakers cannot stop Buzz. He is 13 points on perfect shooting from the field. He is dominating here in Game 7 right now for the Sonics. Nice move by Irving to get the layup. Lakers have it back within 10. 26-16. Here's Buzz. He sets the screen for Story. Has a wide-open man in the corner. This time it's Josh Giddy who connects on the triple. 
The Sonics have not missed a three-pointer yet. Their perimeter shooting right now is unreal. Reddish over to Giddy. He's going to have to quickly heave it up at the shot clock. It's good. Everything is firing on all cylinders for the Sonics offense as it's 20-31. to 31. Here's Lawson. Drives by Williams, and he's going to get the fancy layup to fall. The Laker defense just has no answer right now. Seattle continues to play a perfect game on the offensive end of the floor. Tyron Williams with it. Nice backdoor cut by Freeman Alexander, who's unable to dunk it. But he gets the layup lob, if you will. Here's Kyrell Story backing down on the defender. Smooth move by Kyrell Story, who's got five points here in the first quarter, as we've talked about throughout this series. Kyrell Story is the X Factor. He needs to play well for this team to go far. Lakers force a turnover on the other end. Jackson throws it down. And the Lakers have this game within seven. I know the Sonics have been playing really well today, but the Lakers are right in it. Williams with a late layup here in the first quarter. It's been a very exciting start to this matchup. 37 to 30. The Sonics lead over the LA Lakers. We'll see if Seattle's offense can keep it moving here in the second quarter as Lonzo Ball misses a bunny. Gotta make that layup on the other end. Sonics running the break. Dumas looks to drive inside, gets it over to Reddish, who makes a good cut to the basket. And kill a cam. Reddish throws it down. 30 to 39. Here comes Durant with the screen from Robinson. Durant trying to get some ISO ball. Guarded by Dumas. Hits the shot. Nearly perfect defense by Dumas, but it doesn't matter. Kevin Durant's just a little too good. 32 39. Lawson has an open man. Guess who? Buzz Wigington cannot miss. 16 points in the first half for Buzz with still seven and a half to go. Durant no good, rebounded by Robinson. He deflects it off the backboard. Lakers get it back. Lonzo no good, rebounded by Robinson. Fourth time's the charm as the Lakers finally get the put back. 34-42, Irving's pass is intercepted away by Lawson. On the other end, here comes the Sonics. Buzz has Irving on him. That is a mismatch. Buzz takes him to the woodshed. He's now got 18 points. 34-44. Dumas! No good on the dunk. Oscar J. Basilan, however, gets it back. Oscar with a screen. Back over to Dumas, and he gets the layup. Good second chance points there by the Sonics. They're back up by 12. Here comes Buzz. He has the smaller defender on him. It's Jackson. Buzz draws the double team. Bold strategy to leave Oscar J. Basilan, the three-point contest champion, open in the corner. And he hits the wide open three. 36-51. Here's Buzz. Draws the double team again. That means somebody's open. If you're going to double team Buzz, you cannot leave Oscar J. Basilan open in the corner because he's going to make the shot. 38-54. Buzz goes to the basket. He's got 20-10 and 10 right now as he gets it over to Kyrell Story, who makes the layup. The Lakers are putting all their defensive attention on Buzz, but the Sonics have four other guys on the floor who are all capable plus scorers. This time, Buzz is left somehow wide open, and he hits the open three. Buzz cannot miss from beyond the arc. The Sonics lead 59-38. The Lakers, however, answer the dunk of their own. It's Freeman Alexander who throws it down. 40-59, to about a minute left in the half. Here comes Kyrell Story, gets it out to Buzz, gets the defender flying, and Buzz places the layup in. He now has 25-11. and 11. Talk about an elimination game performance here for Buzz, who gets the screen from Juku Mereji. Buzz looking for the 30 ball in the first half, and the buzzer won't fall. Still a very good first half for the Sonics as they lead it 63-42. Seattle's offense looks unstoppable. The Lakers' offense was very good in the first quarter. They had 30 but they only scored 12 in the second quarter. Buzz Wigginton, of course, leads the way, 27 points, 11 rebounds. He has been dominant today, and everybody else is playing to their roles as we start the second half off. Strong for the Sonics, a quick three by Chance Dumas, and Seattle now leads by 22 points, their highest lead of the game. However, this is an elimination playoff game. You cannot let the pedal off the metal quite yet as Kyrie hits the three. 47-66. Great ball movement by L.A. Irving, another one. Nice shot for Kyrie, and it's now 50-66. to The Lakers are not quitting. Irving, no good, grabs his own rebound, gets the putback, and very quickly into this third quarter, the Lakers are making some noise. They're charging into this lead. Following L.A. possession, here's Lonzo Ball with room, kicks and fires. The Lakers were down by 22 about two minutes ago, and they've cut that in half. They're only down by 11 and right back in the game, so the Sonics are going to answer back strong. Lawson dunks on not one, but two defenders. Holy smokes! 
He's getting up there for the slam. What a dunk by Lawson. Following Seattle possession, the Sonics are passing it well. Here's Reddish inside and one. Three-point play the old-fashioned way. It's Kevin Durant called for the foul. Great play by Killicam, and it's now 57-71, about halfway through the third quarter. Durant guarded by Giddy, blows right by him. Inside for the slam. Nice dunk from KD. 59-71. Here's Lawson hoping somebody gets open on the screen. It's Cam Reddish. Reddish with plenty of room from three. He connects. Reddish has been at his best, I think, in this Western Conference Final Series against the Lakers. He's had a few really good games, today being one of them. 59-74, Jackson guarded by Lawson. He gets it over to Will O'Neal. Lawn two, good defense by Reddish, but it doesn't matter. Nice shot by O'Neal. 61-74, shot is no good at the rim. Lakers get the put back. O'Neal for three, no good again, but Mitchell Robinson continues to be an offensive rebound machine as it's now 63-74. Giddy gets it over to Buzz. Buzz has not scored or grabbed a rebound so far in the second half, largely because he's being doubled. So again, somebody's going to be open. This time it's Lawson who hits the corner three, and the Sonics lead by 14. Chukumareji at the rim, no good. Blocked by Storm, gets it back. No good again. Grabs another rebound, no good again. Chance Dumas is there for mop-up duty. I think the Sonics have like four shots on that possession. I guess Chukumareji just was not allowed to score or something. 63-79, here's Lonzo Ball, a nice pass over to Deontay Jones, who throws it down with the slam. 65-81, under a minute to go in the quarter. Here's Tyrone Williams, guarded by Lawson, gets the screen from Storm. Williams, tough three, and it's good. The Lakers continue to hang around. They're not out of this game quite yet. They're only down by 11. Lawson inside, tries to lob it up to Drew Kumareshi. He's unsuccessful. Lakers now have an opportunity to bring you within single digits. Storm to Williams. The lob for Collins. And L.A. has it within nine. All things considered, it's been a very good third quarter here for the Lakers. As Josh Giddy gets the screen. Giddy in the corner for Reddish. He's it up with the buzzer. No good. So the Sonics are one quarter away from going to the NBA Finals. But this game is far from over. The L.A. Lakers are only down by nine. The Lakers trailed by as much as 22 points early in the third quarter. L.A. has not led once in this game, but they are marching on the doorstep. Buzz draws the double team. Somebody's going to be open. Again, why are they leaving Oscar J. Basilan wide open? The fact that Oscar's had so many wide open threes today could literally be the reason why the Lakers lose this game. Buzz loses it, gets it back, heaves it up from the floor, and he almost made it. Pretty impressive. But that'll be a shot clock violation. Lakers have it back down by 12 with eight minutes to go. Durant lobs it up for the big fella, Mitchell Robinson. The Lakers are putting on a lob party today. Only problem is they're still down by 10 as Cairo Story dunks it in. Story has been pretty quiet today. He only has four points since the first quarter, including that dunk. 74-86. Here is Williams. Gets or Does not get the screen from Robinson. Robinson just blows inside, and he gets the dunk. So I guess it ends up working out. The Lakers continuing to keep this game competitive, but they've got to make a big dent into this lead quick. As Williams gets the steal, tries to lob it up for Collins, he's unsuccessful. Sonics on the other end. Lawson sends it in the corner for Cairo. Story! Bang, bang, bang! He hits the three. And the Sonics are back up by 13 as it's tipped by Lawson, stolen by Reddish. On the other end, Oscar J. Vasilin from way downtown. Oscar has had so much room to shoot the ball today. And he has capitalized. The Oscar J. Basilin has not missed much from three. Williams, no good. Rebounded by Mitchell Robinson, who gets another putback. If there's one thing the Sonics have struggled with, it's been Mitchell Robinson and offensive rebounds. Here's Tyrone Williams with room off the screen. Hits the three. The Lakers continue to stay in the game, but they only have four minutes to go, trailing by 13. Lawson throws it right into the hands of John Collins. Here comes L.A. on the fast break. Irving in the corner for Durant. He connects. Kevin Durant hits the triple, and it's back to a 10-point game. Lawson gets the screen over to Buzz, who still has not scored since halftime, and he draws the charge. The Sonics are slowly but surely starting to fall apart a little bit. Following Laker possession, Irving with the screen goes inside, hits the jump shot. L.A. has it within eight. The Lakers are continuing to make a dent on this lead as the Sonics call a timeout. They need to score on this possession to get some momentum back. Here's Cairo Story on the screen for three, and it rims out. The buzz is there for the rebound and the putback. 29-17 as first points of the half. 
Big putback for Seattle as Oscar draws the double now over to Giddy, who gets it to Story. Story looks to go inside. Now Oscar's all of a sudden wide open. I mean, seriously, what is their defensive strategy? One second they're doubling him, the next second they're, he's wide open. 88-99, Durant rushes to the paint for the dunk. Bad defense by Story. Lakers have it within nine, over a minute to go. Giddy blocks Kyrie. Great defense from Josh Giddy. The Lakers will hold on to the ball. They would not score. Under a minute to go now. Sonics looking to finish this one off as Dumas is intercepted by Durant. The Sonics have turned the ball over a lot here in the fourth quarter as Lonzo will draw the foul by Oscar J. Basilin. Lonzo would make both, so it's a seven-point game as the Lakers are running the full-court press. Oscar goes inside looking for the dunk. He misses it. Seattle is continuing to lose control of this game, and if they don't look out, the Lakers can make a comeback down seven with 34 and a half seconds to go. Here's Irving, gets by Oscar J. Basilan. He makes the layup. LA now has it within five. The Lakers are gonna start to foul, and the Sonics want Oscar J. Basilan at the line. Who else would you want in this situation other than Oscar as he sinks the first one, nothing but net. Big three throws here for the big time kid as the second one is good as well. Good shooting from Jay Basilan. It's back to a seven point game as the Lakers call their final timeout. They gotta score quickly on this possession. Here's Kyrie Irving, goes inside. Irving at the rim, blocked by Buzz. Over to Mitchell Robinson who gets it to Durant who is fouled by Dumas. Do I have to repeat myself? The number one rule of defense, don't foul the jump shooter as the Seattle crowd is loud and on their feet. Durant makes the first, makes the second one. The former Sonic looking for one more. He got it, and the Lakers now have it within four. The closest this game has been since halftime as Oscar is fouled again by Lonzo Ball. That's his fourth. So Oscar will return to the line for two more. The best three throw shooter on the team. Sinks the first one like it's nothing. Cold, hard cash from Oscar, who's now got 24, seven and five. The second three throw from the first time All-Star is good. Seattle up by six. Lakers without any timeouts. Got to rush up the floor quickly and score it. Here's Irving. He wants to be the guy to make the play. Gets a quick layup. Not a bad possession for the Lakers. They're back down by four. Oscar will be fouled again by Lonzo, his fifth. And I want you guys to hear the crowd as Oscar goes to the line. Fourteen foul. Shooting for Seattle. Number seven. Take MVP chance for Oscar as he sinks them both again. Six-point lead here for Seattle. Lakers got to move quick. Durant pulls from deep. No good. Rebounded by Dumas, who was fouled by John Collins. And with seven and a tenth a second to go, the Sonics can just taste it as Dumas looks to finish it off with the dagger. The first free throw is good. Both teams are starting to put the subs in. That's a sign that this game appears to be over as he makes the second one. And it's an eight-point Sonics lead. Lakers are going to have to heave it up. They don't really have much of a chance here as Jackson is no good. And for a second straight season, the Seattle Sonics are going to the NBA Finals as they take Game 7 here in the Western Conference Finals against the Lakers, 107-99. This is a game where we really dominated in the first half. We kind of let the brakes hit a little bit in the second half. But luckily, it proves not to be an issue. We never trailed once the entire game en route to us defeating a very talented Lakers team here in seven games as Josh Giddy holds up the Western Conference Finals trophy. So Seattle is headed back to the finals as we take a look at the box score for today's game. Sonics really dominated in the first half, particularly Buzz Wigginton, who had 29 and 18, 27 of which came before halftime. Oscar J. Basilan, 27, 7, and 5 on 6 of 7 shooting from 3 because the Lakers don't know how to cover him. 7 of 7 from the line. He was clutch down the stretch. Story, Dumas, and Lawson also in the double figures as we look at the Lakers. Durant led them in scoring. Irving Williams, Collins, and Mitchell Robinson also in the double figures. So we are back in the finals. A rematch from last year as we face off against the St. Louis Spirits who have only gotten better since last year's finals. They added Brandon Ingram in free agency, and they traded for Damian Lillard at the trade deadline. This is a really, really good team, and I honestly think we are the underdog going into this series. I think on paper, they might stack up a little bit better. Max Gilbert is dealing with a broken nose. I think he'll be able to play. Apparently, he did not get his injury in-game. It happened during a Monopoly fight. He did not have any property, and it was not fun. 
My advice, just get Oriental Avenue, start there, and then build your way up. That could be a big injury for them because Gilbert was really good last year in the finals defensively. He really did a good job of stopping Buzz Wigington, who did win finals MVP, but he did have his fair share of struggles offensively. The Spirits have four 20-point-per-game scorers here in the playoffs with Lillard, Hero, Ingram, and Amembenegba with Cedas Turnation right behind him. Amembenegba is the best player, and he's their fourth scorer. That just shows how deep this team is. I think we have a little chip on our shoulder going into this series. As I said, I think we're the underdog. I think St. Louis on paper probably stacks up a little bit better. They've had a tough stretch in the playoffs, but they did only need five games against Milwaukee. So they're a little bit more well-rested than we are. They have home court advantage as well because they finished with a better record than us by one game. Although we have the chip on our shoulder, I think theirs is even bigger because, well, we beat them last year in the finals. So they probably have a little bit more to prove than we do. But I feel like we still have a lot to show here as we want to become a dynasty in the NBA. And we'll see if we can do it here, winning the finals against the Spirits before we get into the long-term sim. That'll wrap up the episode. I hope everybody enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe. Plenty of Sonics will be coming out within this next week as we look to wrap up this great My NBA Franchise series and get ourselves focused towards NBA 2K23, which should be a lot of fun. Hope everybody enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new. Peace out.